Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you one of the best terminal shells which I have found for Windows. So let's get started. If you are using Mac or Linux, you know the terminal shells in Mac and Linux are quite awesome. Something like ZSH or Bash or something like Fish. There are a lot of terminal shells which are available for Linux and Mac OS. But for Windows, we have PowerShell, which is not that much great if you have used that. And also, I wanted a shell where I can run some of the Linux commands as well and under the hood that should work. Something like touch command to create a file particularly. Okay. And there are some of the other commands as well, which I'll show. So first of all, what I used, I used called git bash. Git bash. Okay. So this is my git bash. And this is good. This is good. This has all of the things which I want. It is something like ls, something like that, and so on and so forth. So everything is good. And the touch commands work as well. But some of the things it is lacking is the syntax highlighting. So there is no like syntax highlighting. So something like node dash dash version, if I do that, so it will give me a version, but there is no syntax highlighting for that particular command. And also there is no autocomplete for bash. At least I wasn't able to find something which will enable autocompletion on the bash commands. So now what I have found recently, I have found another shell, which is called new shell. Okay. So here it is. So this is new shell. And what you have to do in Windows, basically, if you say something like get new, by the way, it is available for Linux and in Mac OS as well, as you can see by homebrew. And these are all of the Linux distributions, which it currently supports. Okay. Now for Windows, what I have done, I have just copied this command, Wingate install new shell. Basically, Wingate is also installed when you install Windows, so which is nice. So after doing this command in PowerShell, what will happen if you are using the Windows terminal? So if I go here, so as you can see, it will add a profile for new shell. So if I just go here, so here it is. So the new shell is there. I have tried the WSL as well, which works fine, which works fine. But I wanted something native to Windows. So here it is. And if I just go here instead of that, so as you can see here, all of the things are here. Now let's talk about this shell, shall we? So if I just go here and update the font size, so CD. And first of all, as you can see, we have the coloring as well as the autocomplete as well. So CD desktop, then we can do something like projects, next.js, something like that. So now, as you can see, we are inside of this particular folder and this terminal shell looks pretty good basically. Also, I am using the starship prompt, which I will show it to you. But here it is. So the basic new shell has the auto completion and has the auto uh, like the coloring of the commands as well. So if you go to the new shell documentation here, getting started, you can see many of the things here. Quick tour and here you can do something like ls and it will format everything nicely inside of these borders. So I can do that as well. So if I just do ls and as you can see it is formatting nicely in the border and also this formatting will vary depending on the terminal emulator basically what you are using i am using windows terminal which is very good for windows you can use something like the west term as well which is another terminal emulator which is really nice and for the ghosty and other terminal emulators are still not available for uh, windows but Windows terminal is really great. Okay. So here we have all of these. And if I just do ls dash la, 
it will have more things to show as well which is uh, because my font size is quite big it is using dot 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 okay so here it is and there are all of the colors there which is quite awesome right and for the other things you can sort by size and reverse so these commands are specific to the new shell okay so these commands most probably will not work in the other shells but in new shell these commands will work and we can fetch by size as well and so on and so forth there are a bunch of things there which new shell can do okay and you can add the pipes to like join all of the commands right you can add multiple commands by using this pipe symbol all right so this is the new shell now let's go to the starship prompt so starship.rs is the website okay and if you go here all right so here it is so this is the starship prompt so if i just go ahead once again getting started installation so what i have done so it is available for windows as well so if i just go here so it is advanced installation no i want the normal installation here it is so if you are in mac or in linux you have that okay but if you are in windows you have all of the things you can use wingate which i did you can use scoop you can use conda forge if you are using conda you can use chocolatey you can use this one as well okay so after installing that what you have to do basically you can go here you can use that with different shells as well you can use that with bash in windows you can use that with git bash okay you can use that with cmd fish and so on but here we are interested in the new shell so here what you have to do basically you have to copy this command and then you have to paste that inside of the configuration file of new shell which i will show it to you so if i just open the file explorer and i will go here and what i'll do i'll go to the things so i will show it to you so here so what you have to do you have to go to the this pc local disk c then users then your username then you have to go to the app data and then you have to go to the roaming and inside of that you will have the new shell and inside of that you have the config.nu and env.nu files so you, you can just open that with something like vs code and here as you can see everything is commented out i have just three lines so i have set like the show banner to false basically when you install the new shell for the first time there is a banner which will show it to you automatically whenever you are opening the new shell so i have set that to false and i have just pasted out these starship commands which we are getting from the starship website okay and so that i have i believe one of the best terminals which is available for windows and also the like the touch commands something like touch something like this it will work and the rm rf command to delete something it will work as well okay so this is the new shell which i have found and this is something i believe if you are using windows you will very much enjoy because it will streamline many of the commands from linux to windows and it will be very very awesome to use as well which i am enjoying quite a lot the new shell and also to do something like this like have these icons you have to use a nerd font okay so if i go to the browser okay so let's search for nerd font okay and here you have many nerd fonts okay so if i just open that and go to downloads so as you can see there are a bunch of nerd fonts you can use one of them so you can use many of them <laughs> basically i have used uh, many of the things like the fida code and so on and so forth but for my terminal right now 
what I am using. I am using a font called Maple Mono Nerd font. So if I just go to new shell and appearances and here as you can see I have set up to the Maple Mono Nerd font. Okay. But you can use any like Nerd font of your choice. All right. So this is the new shell which is one of the best terminal shells which I have found for Windows.